agriculture growth, Turkey grow, Turkey and its archaic lands. These lands, which have generously showed its blessing to the civilization growing in its bosom, have been the model to the humanity since its transition to the agricultural society. It is called Anatolia, which means motherland because of this. Today, you can come across many people coming to witness the beauty and richness of these lands of Anatolia from all around the world. Each of them has a different purpose to come, but their common aim is to discover. The cradle of civilization, Anatolia has two enormous gifts, one of which is agriculture and the other is tourism. Modern Turkey is growing and polarizing with the developments in agriculture and tourism. Agriculture in Turkey has risen to the seventh in the world and first in Europe with its progress. Agriculture in Turkey gives its generosity to 75 million Turkish society as well as 30 million guests for all over the world. Anatolia, growing the fruits and vegetables in its bosom, is among the first five countries in growing 30 different kinds on earth and exporting 26 different kinds all over the world. Antalya Maybe it is only city for being the pearl in both agriculture and tourism in Turkey. Antalya, having a fourth big potential in the world tourism, has been in a big progress in last 20 years among the countries having border to Mediterranean. Antalya, with Sempol on its the east and Lycian Bay on its west, is the host of the rare beauties which combines nature and history. This unique area, meeting 2,000-year-old cedars with pine and sandalwood, has a great potential for the sports such as trekking, golf, paragliding, rafting and rock climbing. Antalya, being a world city with its unique history and natural beauties, is also an agricultural capital with its ecological and ethnographic history and sustainability for the production for 12 months. The researchers in Karain Cave, which was a residential area 500,000 years ago, clearly show the thousand years of agricultural history of Antalya. They also prove Antalya's importance of the transition to agriculture of the humanity. Agriculture is so important in Antalya that the 20% of its land, which means 414,326 hectare area, is used for the production of various plants. 26 million tons of vegetable is produced in Turkey and 4 million tons of it produced in Antalya. 21% of tomato production, 28% of cucumber production, 19% of eggplant production and 14% of pepper production is made in the pearl of the Mediterranean Antalya. This is not the end of agriculture activities in Antalya. According to the data of 2011, 41% of ornamental plant import and 86% of cut flower import is practiced in Antalya. Besides agriculture, honey, which has been produced for more than a hundred years, is another important product. Approximately 150 years old black eyes, located near Dereko Kubluja district, prove that beekeeping is a long established activity in the area. The ones visiting Antalya will certainly come across with the precious samples of Mediterranean cuisine on their tables. The vegetables and fresh fruits growing in Antalya's fruitful land almost come to life in the meals which have thousand years old recipes. Another important feature of Antalya is the endemic plants growing in its nature. One to four of 12,000 plants discovered in Turkey so far grow in Antalya. 
250 different kinds of plants in the city are only special to Antalya. That means they do not grow in any part of the world. How shall the Antalya Expo site be like? First, let there be plants growing everywhere and structures representing thousands of years old cultures, monuments, bridges and of course, water. There will be a huge lake in the middle of the Expo site. Before I forget, Lots of animals will come to live there, birds, butterflies, and many others. Then, there will be four seasons on the trees, all together. And most importantly, the earth and the sky will blossom flowers. <laughs> 